Okay, family, what I'm gonna do is, we getting ready to fry some fish, some catfish nuggets, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try my girl's Old Bay. I've never ever used this before, but I'm getting ready to put some of this. I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I'm gonna try a little bit of this on my uh, catfish nuggets. And I'm gonna check it out, so. Y'all gonna roll with me. We're gonna see how this turns out. I don't know. I've never cooked with Old Bay. But according to the thing, it's for seafood and all that. So we're gonna put a little Old Bay on our fish. Okay. Now, um, we're gonna fry this fish in the Dutch oven. Reason being, because uh, the Dutch oven is cast iron. And when you're frying fish, chicken, and stuff like that, if you fry it in uh, cast iron, the bomb. Anthony, cut that down for me, please. Turn it, turn it down for me, sir. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I already had a little bit of um, oil from, uh, I had cooked some fish here a couple days ago. I had made some stuff for some fish, so I don't throw away my grease, especially if it's good grease. But, you know, of course, y'all that know, you can't use, um, you can't use fish grease and fried chicken or pork chops with it. So, if it's just, uh, fish grease, you're gonna use it just for that purpose, and that will be for fish grease. So, anyway, we're gonna put some oil in our Dutch. And we get ready to get busy. So, I need a washcloth. And also, when you're working with fish, just like we're working, working with uh, poultry, you know, chicken and turkey and stuff, you know, you don't want to cross contaminate and, and salmonella and all kind of other things can happen. So, when you're frying or working with fish or chicken or whatever, you got to kind of want to keep your area clean. And when, once I touch this fish, I'm gonna have to rewash my hands because I don't want the cross contaminate that into our salad and all that stuff. So anyway, instead of me doing that, that's all I do this. Cause I don't like all that on my hands, no way. So to keep all of that from getting in my hands, we're gonna do it like this. Turn it this way. We're gonna do it like this right here. And uh, that's what's up. Oh, I need some music. I need something. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do nothing without no tunes. I mean, I need some theme music. Don't cut it up loud, though. Okay. All right. Y'all, when I'm cooking, I got to have me some music. I, when I'm in the kitchen, it's, it just go together to me. I mean, I got to have some music, something, something to get down with, you know? So anyway. So we put a little old bay in. Okay, we're gonna see what that do. I don't know what that's gonna do, but we're gonna see what, what, what's happening with it. Okay, now in here, um, I buy the Louisiana uh, Seafood Blue Packet. And um, so this is from that old one that I had when I cooked fried the fish the last time. But what I did was, since it was just a little bit left, and I didn't have no more, uh, seasoning packet. So what I did was, I um, added some more cornmeal. Okay, y'all see it's all scratch and dent, but whatever, cause this the main thing. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, it's scratch and dented up, but I got that one. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I guess for camera purposes, show you that I do got one that's on deck. That's not raggedy. Like this guy. But anyway. So, what I did was, I just added more cornmeal in there. And I added some garlic powder. I love, love, love garlic powder. Um, I'm pretty much inclined to add in a little bit of lemon pepper. But let's taste it first. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to, you know, one thing about fish and stuff. You mess fish up when it's too salty, you know?
We can put it up. Yes, I If you put fish in oil and the oil not hot, you toughen up the fish. So if you ever go somewhere and you taste some fish, it's like, this, this, this fish kind of rubbery, a little tough. Well, if you put the fish in oil and the oil is not hot, it makes it that way. You want to coat that fish up really, really good. Coat it up really, really nice. Then throw it on in your grease. Yes, mommy. Hmm? Yes, mommy. I need the table uh, cleaned off so we can sit at the table and eat. Anthony, you can put that salad in the refrigerator. All right, family. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, the lick. Anyway, I'm gonna start getting um, my dinner going. Start putting it on. I need some paper. Um, I need some uh, paper towels so I can. Um, I need something for this to put this. So, family, what I'm getting ready to do is line my cute plate with some paper towels. What? And we getting ready to get busy. We getting ready to get real busy. There we go. All right, family. We're going to start frying our fish and putting it on our square plate. All right, family. Bye. Okay, family. This is my catfish nuggets. And we's getting ready to get busy, family. I still got some more to cook, just a little bit more to cook, but still for the most part, this is what it looks like. My kids are ready to get in. They ready to eat. Everybody is standing around. Um, who's gonna lead us in prayer? Okay, and well, okay, Did you, didn't you do it last time? Okay, Anthony's gonna lead us in prayer. And um, Isaiah wanted to, but I think he did it the last time. So we're going to stand at the table. We're going to say our grace. And we are having catfish nuggets and a serious salad. On that note, family, from my family to yours, good eating. Love you. Bye.